Hi Alice, it's Dav. All right. Um, I um, I, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed the um, uh, uh, Jaws, the film. Um, yeah, and um, it sounds like you had a, a lovely early morning walk. <laughs> um, uh, listen, I'm a, I'm a bit um, shook up to be honest. Um, yeah, look, there's um, there's been an accident, and. Um, well, it's it's Gareth Edwards, the dog, uh, my dog. I'm um, I'm at the vet now, and uh, and uh, well, I don't know what to do. Um, the vet is with him now. He's going to let me know if he can save it. You know, if he can, if he can make him better. You know. <sighs> yeah, this on on top of everything else. God, I'm just. You know, I've just I've just tried to stay positive and and plough on through at the moment. You know, with everything else that's going on, and and it hasn't been easy, I know, for anyone. But you know this. Um, he ran out in front of the postman. He did. Uh, he was chasing a squirrel. Uh, the postman obviously didn't have time to stop and and hit him. And then. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about, you know, whether I left the back gate open or, um, I don't know. Um, I just don't know how he got out, you know. And he, he has this blind spot when it comes to squirrels. There's this thing that comes over him and it's like he's possessed. Anyway, the, the postman brought him up to the door. I could see him walking up the drive. And uh, he was white as a sheet. And... Uh, I thought to begin with that he was carrying a parcel, you know? I thought to myself, what was this now? Not another bloody jumper. <laughs> I wish it was another bloody jumper. I've had him since he was a pup. Yeah. He was the runt of the litter. The one that nobody wanted. And I didn't want him to begin with. Well, no, um, I didn't notice him to begin with. I went to put my hand into the basket to pick up one of his brothers. And he licked my hand. He just leaned up and licked the back of my hand, you know. I could feel this little, tiny, rough tongue. And that was it. I looked down on him and... You know, it was as if he'd chosen me. So I chose him. And, you know, through thick and thin, he's been my rock. Gareth Edwards has been my rock. And there's been some shit times recently, some really shitty times, but, you know, he's always been there. And when I get home from work, no matter what mood I'm in, he looks up at me and he wags his tail and he shakes his bum and it doesn't matter what anyone said to me in work or what I'm going through in my relationship or in my life. It doesn't matter, you know, he's just there. He lick my hand and he expects me to take him out for a walk so he can chase the ball. Or a squirrel. He was my best friend, you know. He is my best friend. And if he dies in... I should be with him. Holding him. Um, I'm sorry, Alice. This must be a really horrible thing to listen to. Um... I just don't know what to do, you know, or, or say or anything. I've got one of his toys here with me. Well, it's it's not really a toy, it's an oven glove. But he um he got hold of it one day and that was it, you know, like Gareth Edwards at the bottom of a ruck. And he was gone. Up that touchline like a bat out of hell. I just keep crutching it, you know, and
the smells of him. I just don't want to be alone anymore. I don't want to lose him. You know, and, and I need you. I need you, Alice. I need you on shitty days like today and and all other days for that matter. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Um, the the vet is phoning me. Um, uh, I better go. I better go back in. I, I I'll I'll let you know. Okay.